Okay, so I've just finished up work now. The clip you just saw, obviously me tired this morning. It is like six hours later now. It's now two in the afternoon. I've just finished up work. In fact, I've not finished because I've still got to hoover the floors and clean and everything. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean up. Then my mum's coming to pick me up. But my fuzzy thing's gone off the top of my camera and I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just sat waiting for mum to come and pick me up. Basically, if you didn't already know, I work at my dad's gym. My mum and dad own a gym. My dad's a bodybuilder and he owns a gym and I work in the reception area, just literally taking people's money and like making drinks for people and stuff. Um, so yeah, basically my job, summarised, done. My mum texted me earlier, well, rang with her this morning and we're like, Byron, I need you to go in the diary and like write from when you're not going to be working because obviously I'm moving to uni so I can't work here anymore. Um, and I crashed that the day that I'm finishing work, which I'm not sad about. Like, I'm not sad about to not be working here anymore because I didn't really enjoy it that much. It was pretty boring. Sells mum, sells dad, but yeah, not really. A gym, me working in a gym, no thanks. Anyway, yeah, she also told me to cross out the date. Well, she told me to cross out a certain date. And I was like, wait, why? And she said, that's when we're taking you down to London and that's when you're going to uni. I literally nearly cried at work and figured about it and that makes me want to cry. Because it's official. The train's booked, everything's booked. I don't even know why my mum did it all at work because I was so sad. I had to text Ella and be like, Ella, this is the day I'm going. You're coming with us, book it off work. Ella's coming down to say bye to me and stuff and like get me moved in, help me move in. Um, but texting Ella that, I was just like, <laughs> she just replied back with a heartbroken emoji. It sounds so stupid and I feel like crying now, but there's literally tears in my eyes, what the hell. Um, it sounds so stupid, but it's like everything I've ever known, my entire life, I'm just leaving behind and like starting fresh. And even though like they're only on the other end of the phone call or a train, I'm gonna cry. It's just a big thing. And I absolutely adore my friends and family, so just to be leaving them like that, it's just, it's a big thing. All right, so I now have the task of cleaning my room. Currently, this is what my floor looks like. Like, I just really don't understand how this happens. Like, most of that is clean. Like, that's freshly washed underwear and socks. The stuff underneath it is more than likely stuff that I tried on and didn't end up wearing. Also, let's just ignore the fake tan on my bed. I literally don't even know how this happens. Like, why does this end up on my floor? My wardrobe's literally there. Why do I put it on the floor when I can just put it in the wardrobe? <laughs> it just means that I've got to clean it. These aren't even my socks. These are literally Ella's socks. So, don't know why they're there. A pair of jeans that I never even wore last night, but somehow ended up on my floor. Oh, a t-shirt that I've not worn this week either. Still somehow ended up on my floor. Wow, my denim jacket that I've literally not worn in such a long time. Look, still ended up on my floor. Okay, admittedly these I did wear to a party the other night, but they're not mucky. Still ended up on my floor. Finally, my dressing gown. So that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. It is somewhat clean, like, the things on here are necessary to be there, like, I need a bedside table. So, that is what I do my doodles on in my videos. I need my iPad, then I just have my notebook there, then my tripods and camera stuff is all just here. These are the pairs of shoes that I've worn most frequently, because, obviously, my mirror's there. So when I'm getting ready in the morning, it's just easy to have a pair of shoes there. But right now, I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I have a few YouTube videos to watch. It's almost 5 o'clock, which means Alfie's vlog is going up soon and a bunch of other people always upload around that time anyway. So hopefully, I'll have a bunch of YouTube videos to watch because it is Sunday night and normally I have college on a Monday, which is not the case considering it's the holidays and considering I've left. So normally, I would just catch up on YouTube and I would more than likely be editing a video right now if I had college tomorrow. But because I know I've not got college tomorrow, 
I've not filmed anything or got anything to edit. I uploaded every single day last week, so I'm just sort of like, eh, don't really have nothing to do. My friends are working. This is why I don't vlog again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I only started this vlog clip because I thought I was gonna sneeze, but apparently I'm not. I'm gonna get food. <laughs> so there's this thing called McDonald's and I don't know if you'll know what it is, but they sell ice cream and that's called the McFlurry. Um, they put Oreo pieces into the McFlurry and that's good, but if you ask for caramel sauce on that, that is even better. So nice. It's all wet. He just had a bath. Um, so, as you can see, the sun is setting. I've literally spent like the past half an hour watching Logan Paul's vlogs. I've never really watched Logan Paul's vlogs. I've watched Jake's and I watched quite a few of Jake's, depending on like the title and stuff. Um, but I do. Not gonna lie, watch quite a few of Jake's videos, watch quite a few of Team 10's videos in general. Um, I've never really watched Logan's though. I've always been subscribed to him, but I've just never really watched. And he posted a video saying, how I hit 10 million subscribers in 340 days. Currently on my screen there. And that is insane. He hit 10 million subscribers in not even a year. I've been doing it five years, and I'm not even a smidgen close to that. Not even a smidgen close to 100,000, not even a smidgen close to a million. And it's like, He's gonna smash 10 million in one year. That is absolutely insane. And a credit due to him, but I honestly do not know how he's done it. Like, how the hell does that even happen to anyone? Please teach me how, someone. Your boy doesn't really want to go to uni. He wants to vlog all his life. But also needs education and a job and vlogging is just not not working out for him. I'm um, just coming back because this is where the good lighting is. I'm going to head out with Ella right now. I didn't say that, but I am. I'm going to head out with Ella. I'm picking a mum and sister up. I'm not sure where they are, but Ella just rang me like, I need to pick my mum and sister up. Do you want to come? I need to get my shoes on because Ella is right there. Right. Oh, what the hell? Right there. She's right there, kids. Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm hyper. Let's go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was filming that as well. Ow. Ow. Oh, I just smacked myself in leg with door. I was just gonna say, you got the drugs, and then I smacked my leg. Ah. <laughs> Right, I'm here with Ella. I was just about to say, have you got the drugs? And I literally smashed the door full on into my leg. But here she is. Hi. We're going to pick a mum and Maddie up now, so let's go do this. I swear my hair gets shit out every single vlog. I look like Justin Bieber 2010. Baby, baby, baby. Oh. Okay, sad story. It's like two hours later. And I got that caught up in my own head. I forgot. My mum made me a cup of tea. Yeah. It's cold. I'm still no further in my brain. Still really don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, I'm gonna warm my tea up. I'm not gonna sit around and complain about cold tea when I have a microwave downstairs that can make it warm again. Goodbye, old friend. 30 seconds, that too much. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. See you in 20 seconds. Hi, me. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my tea to warm up, conveniently it's done. Don't think that was long enough. Let me just put it in longer. 10 more seconds. Oh, it's quite warm. Right, 20 more seconds. Mm. Pressing the wrong settings. 20 more seconds. Um, little continuation from what I was just saying downstairs. I'm going to have to be quiet because my parents are asleep in the room there. Leon is evidently not asleep, but got my tea. Let's chat. The reason I love vlogging is because times like now, and everything in fact that I've said throughout this day, 
are things that I just want to sit down and chat to someone about. Like, I'd literally just ring Ella, chat to Ella about it. And that's why I love vlogging, because I literally feel like I'm talking to a friend. And any little thing that comes to mind, I'm like, I want to talk to someone about this. And it's easier to talk to a camera about a lot of things, because not all the time us as humans are looking for a response to things which is why I love daily vlogging because I can literally just talk about whatever whenever I can show you my life I can capture moments I can document memories I can slam my shin into Ella's car door and there you have it online forever a lot of the stuff that I make is of course to brighten people's days and if it makes people laugh it makes people laugh but a lot of my intentions when making videos is not to focus on my brother, it's to focus on me. Is to trigger some sort of thought process. Like, I love videos that make me think, and I think a lot, but like, I mean, <laughs> the good type of thinking. I mean, sometimes my videos might send you into a downward spiral, which I apologise for, but I just like to initiate that little... The thing that makes something click in someone's mind, I absolutely am fascinated with how someone can say something and it means so much to so many different people. And that is what I aim for in a lot of my videos, even though I did sing about tampons the other day, but that, 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 that weren't me. That were Byron when he wears the glasses. <laughs> hand in hand with that, if someone's thinking about something that I've said, they're not necessarily thinking about something maybe bad that's happened in the day, or they're not necessarily focusing on anything else other than what I'm currently saying, which is also what I love. Which is why it's massively important to me that the people who watch my videos like me for me, as well as the content I make. And I think that's so much more important. Having the, like, relationship we have is so important. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna drink my tea and then get into bed. It is currently 12.24, so I am gonna sign off this vlog here. I love you all lots and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with another new vlog. Um, yeah. Bye.